This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> These videos are brought to you by G66 UK where there's no wait list in the UK for an AxeFX3, FM9 or FM3 so that's the place to go grab one of those so it will sort you out and um, yeah UK service centre, no import charges, all good stuff. Uh, now today I wanted to look at an amp which I've actually, well that's not what I want there is it, I want input there, I've actually never uh, checked out before but um, it's coming from a point of view where this sort of amp would very often be used for metal, right? It's kind of become pretty much a staple of, of the metal scene. It's a, a remnant of the 6160, actually. Uh, so the PV5150, as I know the history of it, which is, you know, not especially, came after the EVH. I think Eddie was involved with, at first, Soldano, and then moved beyond Soldano to um, then work with PV. So I think it's a relatively similar topology. Um, I could be totally wrong about that. Let me know in the comments if I am. Um, but let's pair it up with a V30, um, or actually 5153 cap. So is this just for metal? Hopefully not. Otherwise, this is going to be a short video. So, first of all, it sounds like this. Kind of big, tight, full. Um, we've got a bunch of channels, uh, blue, green, and red. I think green is the clean. And we've got 100 watt and... and 50 watt versions. So let's go with 100 watt. I think it's gonna be my preferred option. And start with the green. So our green channel. Q. 
keep that gain. Still wants to be a bit driven, right? So, if we start a little bit of uh, delay here. Um, we'll go with just the dual delay. Three, seven, five. And this is kind of like clean-ish, right? And I'm going to guess that it's going to take pedals fairly nicely. Um, kind of think about this section here as like a Marshall tone stack, I guess. And then drive. Taking those dry pedals fairly nicely. Let's try January. So yeah, that's working. Right, let's take that off. Then scene two, um, let's just dial in something with a bit more of a kind of crunchy tone. So we've got the blue, which I believe is a bit more. More on the gainy side, right? Then got like a chunky rhythm. And then I guess what I'm thinking is we could definitely get huge screaming kind of. Oh, <laughs> 
what I'm personally thinking would be for, for this kind of thing, I might be tweaking the output EQ. <laughs> Another thing I could do would be to copy this channel of the cab, channel A to channel B. Introduce a high cut on a 6 dB slope. And set this to your taste. So it definitely does excel at all of this kind of driven stuff, but... Can clean up as well, which is kind of a nice little feature. Um, so Um, so we could go into the ideal controls and affect our depth there if we wanted to get a bit more chunkiness. <laughs> Just copy that scene across to scene four. Uh, wait, scene three. Copy current scene to scene four. <laughs> What I might do would be take the the kind of gain on the amp down. What else could we do? We could add in our um, kind of pitch stuff, dual D tune would be.
Nimbus Stratus. Oh, that's not what I want. Pretty nice for that sort of thing as well, right? So I think, yes, 5153, not just for metal, although it will excel at that sort of thing. Um, just here with the Les Paul and the three channels, you can get some really cool things out of it. Um, let's just go into our scene manager and make sure that reverb's only on for our ambient clean. Bypass, 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 bypass. <laughs> I don't know, I, I quite like that. It's not the cleanest sounds ever. catch you in another video soon uh, i'll drop this up into the folder if you guys want to check it out uh, the gumroad folder and uh, make sure you save the link so you can keep coming back to that into the google drive um, and if you haven't got that shoot me an email and i'll fire that back over your way um, but yeah cheers for stopping by